1862, I died of tuberculosis of the bone marrow at age 78. Jesus, Ramona, time for supper. I'm pretty sure most of you recognize these literary characters that I created. I am Beverly Clary, the Newberry Award-winning author for the Ramona series. My second grade teacher's encouragement began my lifelong love of books. As a librarian, I decided I could write books about what children realize are like. Characters like my Henry Huggins have entertained kids of all ages for over 60 years. I am proudest of the fact that my books have encouraged people <coughs> to have never like to read the chance to love to read. If you've never read one of my books, try one out. They'll make you smile and perhaps even give you the inspiration to be an author too. I grew up in Oklahoma, a member of the Native American Osage tribe. Eventually, I would become a world-class ballerina, so it's kind of ironic that in my tribe, only the men danced. My family moved to Los Angeles when I was eight so we could be better educated. It was there I fell in love with ballet. I changed my name to Maria Talchief, and soon you could see my and in time, you could see my cliches and pirouettes performed around me. Hey you, Rosa Parks, back of the bus. You're not allowed up to snarl the bus driver. But I had had enough. I just couldn't stand anymore. My courageous act got me arrested in plain jail. What followed was a city right strike which led to the ever growing cry for equal rights for all people, not just some. Somebody wrote a song about Rosa Parks. Yale University. 
Most people were outraged because I was only four years old during the war and many known architects and designers entered the contest. Well, I proved them wrong. <coughs> My family was so proud of me. I went on to design several major work of public art. Here, public art. I can I built a 1600 foot beam and planted holly bushes pruned to look like balls here in North Carolina, Charlotte to be exact. I won a National Medal of Art Award. My name is Maya Ying Lynn and I was born on October 5th, 1956 in Athens, Ohio. I was determined to establish a center to both honor <coughs> my husband's ideals and to appreciate and practice nonviolent social changes. The Martin Luther King Junior Center is in Atlanta, Georgia, and I am proud of it. I'm sure Martin would have been just as proud to call it the Coretta Scott King Center. Even though I viewed myself as a mother of four kids, I still have spent my life give, giving speeches, lectures, and marching for equal rights of oppressed people. I thought I was made being a preacher man. Instead, the two of us forced all Americans to ask themselves, what does the word equality really mean? While in college, I dreamed of being a tennis pro until one day a friend said, Hey Sally Ride, I just read in the Stanford newspaper that NASA is looking for smart young students who want to be astronauts. Little did I realize then that I would be the first American woman in space. My training was rigorous. I had to run, lift weights, and I even decided to include tennis in my training exercises. The most amazing part about being an astronaut is going into orbit and realizing that you did it. You're in space. <coughs> When I was only 11, I made a computer language for the first mini computer. The computer was named the Alter 8800. But the computer had no screen, just a lot of buttons. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I should have named it the Bill Gates, this is going to change the world <coughs> model one. <laughs> In school, I skipped some classes just to go and learn about what makes the computer work. Eventually, I became an expert and sold my computer language to the company that made the Alter 8800. I quit college and founded the legendary Microsoft. I am finding myself in having good strategic plans and soon Microsoft surpassed the company named IBM and I became the richest man in America. Please stand and join in singing our national anthem. 